because it's not criminal in nature and it is civil, I can provide you all the information you will need to be able to fight her in court because okay. it is wrongful. Yeah. That, well, that's, Absolutely. That's what I was kind of expecting. I even told the lady on the phone that. I'm like, I know that it's civil and you guys probably can't do nothing, but I have a bunch of stuff on it. Like, right. I have cameras and they've, they've actually tried to get me to sign a fraudulent lease on that camera one time. So I have a bunch of stuff on them. I probably right. just need a record or something. So, yeah, just bring all your camera footage. Bring anything you have, like documented conversations, whether it be text or whatever. Um, I'll give you the statute number that it falls under and I think it's 8311 I'm not sure I've yeah it's eight I thought it was 8360 that's my neighbor they turned my power off oh. yeah. no I'll talk to you let me she's working let me get her right so I can give you all that info but you're pretty much gonna have to file a civil claim and it'll 100% should win in court yeah. Because you can't, it says in the statute, shall not turn off any kind of well, stuff. Well, so. I know that, but the thing is that they're saying that it's a fire hazard. Duke Energy, they, they use Duke Energy. And, right. and now, mind you, it's been there since October, and I've had plenty of footage of camera footage of them having contractors out here doing nothing. I don't know what they're doing. They, they don't do anything. Right. And they waited till now. So they're like hiding behind the fact that it's a, it's a fire hazard. And Duke Energy won't do nothing about it. But again, it. it's you're renting the property that's on the landlord, and if the landlord's not doing what she needs to be doing to have you being able to live in a safe environment, yeah, she's. It says in the statute, I believe it says intentional or unintentional, uh, okay, walking of the services or whatever right. it is. So it could fall under the unintentional portion of it if it genuinely is because of a fire hazard. Yeah. So let me get you that stuff. So. That's going to be the case number there at the top for me. I'm going to document it anyway, even though I can't really do anything. I understand, so but that, it'll still go in court. Like, I can be like, hey. Right, so it's SO as in Sheriff's Office, 23 is the year, and then that's the case number. Um, it's going to be under 83.67, and I can read that to you really, really fast. What portion? So it's under number one. A landlord of any dwelling is <laughs> governed by this part shall not cause indirectly or directly the termination or interruption of any utility service furnished by the tenant including but not limited to water heat light electricity gas elevator etc right or not the utility service is under control over payment is made by the landlord um and then under number six a landlord who violates any provision of the section shall be liable to the tenant for actual and consequential damages so possibly like all of the food in your your refrigerator that's run off electricity, etc. Oh, there she is right there. There she is right there.